Hey and welcome. In this video I'll show you a new feature that we have added to the ET product, making it a little easier for you to develop a cloud platform integration. So one of the things is if you want to do any Groovy scripts, uh, you have to figure out uh, how do we actually set up the full context that you want to be using for this. So uh, the Inkway has created this block how you test your Groovy script and says here you got a simple script and then you want to set up a testing of it and uh, he then writes some some sample code that you want to be doing um, uh, to display what's actually being sent in the message uh, and what you're de developing so we wanted to make this a little easier because we got a lot of the, the same context of your pi system and obviously one of the other things here is uh, these libraries are missing some dependencies, making it a little difficult uh, creating these things. So the way we have done it is, uh, for instance, here we have your CPI flows and I have this uh, new one. So I want to do a record on this. I uh, just want to record one message that this is uh, for video. I want to do a save. Uh, CPI video demo. So we now have created this and we will now start the recording of this and I'll just run the flow. So what the EOT system have done is put your uh, CPI system in trace mode and then it have um, then I pulled downloaded all the different messages from the flow. So what I can do now is I can then create a new test case from this and once I do that, I can see my test case here. I can see the test case and I can see all the messages involved in this. So the thing I wanted to see was, I can see I have some JSON payloads here. Let's see what this is. Uh, so this is a token that's been generated and we want to get this out. And obviously there's a lot of ways you can do that. Uh, one way would be build a Groovy script and want to do that. So we will, or this will create the code around the Groovy script and what we can then do is um, I'll just open your Eclipse project so um, here I have uh, then created uh, a new project I've added some dependencies uh, we need the obviously the Groovy or the Groovy JSON I want to pass the JSON here um, the camel core as the two dependencies and then these uh, two files also uh, and then we got the setting the full message body we are setting all of these extra properties that could be of importance for you and then we will call this uh, process script and that will then call this uh, shell script that we already created up here so if we take a look at this we'll see it here we are using the XML slurper doing some things and we're returning message um, and back in our Groovy script we can then actually just we have just implemented this uh, method so instead of what Ing was doing he was uh, creating needing to download a lot of dependency here we have just said well we're just using the, the implementation and creating some standard things for it so some things is not implemented on it but i guess that would be sufficient otherwise you can implement them yourself um yeah you just need to to add these libraries and then you can actually run it just press run as a script and then it will start this and we can then see that we have actually retrieved these uh, these payloads here. So this is really a simple way of processing your content. So now we've seen that this runs uh, and we can get that data out of it and we can see that it works as we expect it to. So this really is, is helpful in the process of creating uh, scripts, updating them because you would then be able to get at all the different content that you have at that specific point in time. Uh, you can extract the data as you want and do all the modifications of of it as you want to do. Uh, so I hope this is uh, this is helpful. It's a part of the ERT application and you can download it at figaf.com.ert. Um, 
and start using it. Uh, we have a, a free package up to 10 uh, iFlows, so you can use it in, in general setting. And I really hope that this will speed up your development because you would get all the different contexts in just one script that you can run uh, for whenever you want to do it. So uh, yes, go to fiaf.com forward slash IT, download the tool and see how it works on your system.